What exactly is blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. What causes huh? altitude sickness? No idea, but Amsum is not afraid of heights. Huh? Oh, Amsum! <laughs> we can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. Why do we huh? have chins? No idea. But, but, where is my chin? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, it is believed that chins relieve our jaws from the stress that they encounter while chewing food. Secondly, it is believed that our tongues may be putting a lot of stress on our jaws while speaking. Now our chin may be acting as a reinforcing bone, which resists that pressure. Thirdly, it is believed that chins exist to help us attract mates. Lastly, according to one theory, our ancestors had bigger faces. We evolved into smaller ones and our chins are still gradually shrinking. Hmm. Where does gold come from? Simple, from Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum! Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs. As in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. What is cholesterol huh? in the human body? No idea. But Amsum does not have any cholesterol. Oh, Amsum! <laughs> cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. Why were zebras never domesticated? No problem. I'm sure we'll take care of this. Huh? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso, as zebras have a very efficient built-in ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Huh? Hmm. Do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? Absolutely not. I have told them not to. Oh, um, some. The answer is density. Density huh? is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Lesser the density, lighter will be the object. Hmm. The Atlantic Ocean contains much more salt, as a result of which it is much denser. On the other hand, 
The water in the Pacific Ocean is less salty, hence its density is much lower. Now, this difference in density due to salinity creates a kind of barrier called a halocline between the two oceans. As a result, both the oceans don't mix that easily. Hmm. Why huh? does soap make bubbles? No big deal. Om Sum's bubbles are the biggest. Oh, Om um, Sum. The answer lies in the chemistry of soap molecules. The two opposite ends of the soap molecules behave extremely differently. On one hand, there is an end known as the hydrophilic end. This end attracts water. While on the other hand, there is an end known as the hydrophobic end. This end repels water. Hmm. Now when we mix soap with water, these opposite ends of the soap molecules sandwich a thin layer of water between themselves. This basically leads to the creation of a thin film that contains a small amount of air. And this is what we call a bubble. Hmm. Why are sharks boneless? No big deal. Even Om Sum doesn't have bones. Oh, Om Sum. The skeleton of sharks is actually made of cartilage. Cartilage is the same stuff that our ears and nose are made up of. Now, cartilage is less dense than bones. Hence, it is much lighter, making sharks weigh less and thus helping them stay afloat. Hmm. Also, as the cartilage is flexible, it gives shark the ability to swim quickly and catch its prey. Hmm. Finally, the skeleton made of cartilage heals faster than that made of bones. Hence, sharks are boneless. Hmm. Are huh? smartphones bad for our eyes? Don't worry. Just watch Om Sum on your smartphones. Oh, Om Sum. We hold smartphones too close to our eyes and also stare at them for prolonged periods. Hence, it puts strain on our eyes. Besides this, smartphone screens predominantly emit blue light. Now, our eyes are built to absorb the harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun, thus protecting the inner sensitive membrane called retina. Hmm. But our eyes are not good at absorbing blue light emitted by smartphones. Hence, the blue light hits the retina and produces toxic substances which slowly begin to damage the retina. Hence, long-term exposure to blue light from smartphones may affect our vision. Hmm. Why do we have different eye colors? No big deal. Om Sum's eyes are multicolored. Oh, Om Sum! The colored part of our eye is called iris. Iris contains a pigment called melanin. Melanin is of two types, phyomelanin and eumelanin. The color of our eyes is dependent on the amount and type of melanin produced. If we have more melanin with higher concentration of eumelanin, then we will have darker eye color, such as brown. However, if we have less melanin with higher concentration of phyomelanin, then we will probably have blue or green eyes. Hmm?